Hey guys, Rico here. We're, uh, we're going to do a series of videos today, this weekend, on how to make tamales. Uh, some of you have asked for my recipes and such. So it all starts off with uh, cooking the meat, because I use the uh, pork broth and the chicken broth in the masa, uh, make it when I make the corn. So you kind of got to do that first. So we'll, we'll start off by doing that today. Let me get me something to drink. I'm going to use the old uh, new hickory knife I got from my uh, nephew. We're going to try it out today. So what I'm going to be using as far as the pork goes, <clears throat> about 10 pounds of pork. And it's just, uh, it's off the leg, and they sliced it. And so it, it's kind of butterflied open. I'm going to leave the little fat cap on it. It'll cook down. Um, it'll give the uh, tamales a little better flavor, I think. We're not going to do any seasoning or anything here on the meat. Uh, I'm just going to throw it into the water. Then I'll uh, show you what spices and such we're going to put in the water. We're going to throw in each pot of water, we're going to throw an onion, I'm not going to use the onion, so I'm not worried about taking the uh, skin off. pieces in with the chicken. Crushed garlic in with it. Again, I'm not going to use the garlic. I'm just using it to flavor the meat. So I'm not real worried about skinning it. That's just me. I'm lazy. If you want to take the skins off, it comes off pretty easy after you smash it. So we'll put this and we'll do another one. This will go into the uh, pork. So just take your knife, squish them. This hickory knife works perfect for that because the front of the blade is wide, so it works good. Okay, the uh, pork and the chicken's been boiling, simmering for probably two and a half, three hours. Uh, it, it's done. I'm going to take it out, let it rest a little bit, cool off before I shred it, and then I will uh, put some of the uh, chili pod paste or the sauce, a paste or a sauce, I don't know really what it is. It's, I kind of take a paste and make a sauce out of it, so to speak. But I'll mix that in with the meat. Uh, that, oh, son of a biscuit either. That's hot. That'll give it some moisture and uh, do a little bit of that uh, Mexicali taste and feel before putting it into the, uh, the masas, masa.
we got our we got our pork done and it's uh it's pretty done. It's it shreds apart real easy, it's hot. Um, that's pretty good. Okay, so that and then we got our chicken, we'll let that cool and we'll debone it. Now, I'm not gonna make 500 tamales. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a small amount of each, and I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna be going camping here in a uh, couple weeks, so I think I'm gonna freeze some of the meat and stuff, and then see if I can unfall it and make uh, make tamales for the camping trip, and see how fresh they taste. Uh, just try that. It's really good. We're gonna try a little piece of the chicken. That's good. Really good. So there's the pork. It looks really, it turned out really nice. There's our chicken. I probably should have done two chickens. <coughs> but our chicken turned out good. So we're just going to let them cool. We'll shred them. We'll put some of the tamale sauce, uh, tamale paste in with them. And then we'll uh, we'll think about making some masa and uh, putting these things together tomorrow. So we got our uh, boiled chicken, simmered chicken, whatever. We're uh, I should have did two, but I did one. I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. We'll add a little bit of the uh, <coughs> excuse me, the paste to it, and that'll be our filling for the tamale. So we're just gonna start by. Uh, Again, we're just going to shed it into little tiny pieces. I'm not worried about if I get a little bit of the fat in there or not. A little garbage bucket or something here. chicken shredded. One chicken doesn't give you a whole lot. So we probably should have did two. But for what I'm doing, I, I didn't need a whole lot. Now, if I was smart, and nobody, you'll never hear anybody say Rico's real smart, I would have also took my uh, broth and I would have canned it. And uh, sealed it in, <coughs> excuse me, then you have chicken broth and you have uh, 
pork broth for down the line and, and, and made quite a bit. So I, I could have had enough, give friends a Christmas presents. I'd like to have that in a tree, some of Rico's broth. Yeah, me either. I couldn't stay now. Okay, so what we're going to do now, after I uh, answer an important text, I'm going to put just a little bit of this chili paste in the meat. Now, how am I going to just use my hands? Thinking. I like that. It's actually pretty good. So that's ah yeah, shoot, I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it all in there, what the hell? Then I don't have to save any. Now it's probably a little too runny, but that's okay. That's good. That's good. So, I'm going to do the same thing with the pork. Put them in the refrigerator. Ooh, son of a biscuit eater. What I didn't keep was a little bit of the masa or the uh, <coughs> chicken paste to put in the masa, but I'll, I'll use some of the pork. That'll be all right. And, uh, in it. We got our simmered chicken with the uh, chili pot paste in it. We shredded it. We added the paste to it. We mixed it up. That's going to be our filling for uh, the tamales tomorrow. This is easy. <coughs> People will tell you it's real time. Time going. It, it, it's time, but you need to have some friends over and uh, not try filming it type of a deal because then it'd be a little easier. And uh, I'm real happy with how these turned out. So I will... Uh, Get this all wrapped up, put away in the fridge, and uh, tomorrow I'll make the masa, which is the corn. And we'll make some tamales, we'll get them steamed, and uh, we'll do a taste test tomorrow night. Alrighty, folks, keep on smoking, alright? Keep those grills going. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a happy Father's Day tomorrow. Where's my, uh... <coughs> Salud.